What's up guys, it's Dull Matter here, and today we're gonna be reacting to another Fat Electrician video. We got another weapon here. This one is the mystery weapon, the DSHK. Uh, I don't know if it's pronounced Dushk, but that's that's exactly how I read it. It was like the Dushk, the Dushk. Uh, so judging by the thumbnail, apparently the Ukrainians have been using this, so I don't know if it's like some old Eastern Bloc weapon uh, that they've decided they're gonna start using again. Never heard of it before, I'm interested. So link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. What about the Dushka? Created in 1938, it is essentially the Soviet knockoff of the M250 Cal. And when I say it's a knockoff- I Oh, okay, so yep, yeah, straight up, right away. It's the old Eastern Bloc. Yeah, okay. I mean, they didn't even try to be subtle about it. So as we all know, the M250 Cal's nickname is Ma Deuce. You know, Ma is in like, Ma, the meatloaf! <laughs> so the M250 Cal's nicknamed after the term Mom. mother. Dushka meatloaf. is literally Ma. the in a hurry term. Sorry, the Russian term for beloved person. Like, they basically even copied the nickname. But like most communist knockoffs, it's just not as good. So it actually weighs in at 74 pounds, which is 10 pounds less than the M250 Cal. It also shoots 12.7 millimeter rounds that are approximately 10% larger than its American counterpart. So essentially, they took the American M2, made it 10 pounds lighter, and then made it shoot bigger bullets. So in theory, it should be better, right? Wrong. Here's why. A lot of people don't realize- Here's why. It's because commies made it. And any shortcut that can be taken will be taken. I think the only thing that they- they had some rocketry, I want to say in like the 70s or the 80s. I can't remember, I think it was the, um, oh, what was the name of the rocket? They had rockets that they had this one genius engineer he developed. But like everything else, they were so far behind. And a lot of the time they would literally just copy American technology from spies or back engineering something and stuff like that. And it would never end up being as good. Just because it's not in the name or anything, but heavy machine guns are actually supposed to be fucking heavy. <laughs> the bullet bigger and the gun lighter, recoil on this thing is a nightmare. You cannot keep it on target to save your life. Like, even when it's mounted on a tripod or on a vehicle or anything. So why am I even talking about Wish.com versions of the American on <laughs> Well, because this is the Ukrainian mystery weapon. Yeah, this one from the viral videos. God, so yeah, believe thing's it or not, this and that are actually the same weapon. Those so here's one of the viral videos just for reference. Sorry, there's no audio because most of the videos have music music overlaid and I can't play that because of copyright but here's the rock Jesus footage. Christ he's a recoil shaking it, it looks like a sniper until he starts shooting it then all of a sudden it's just like f the, f the fire rate is so crazy that thing's so fucking long dude in the entire building I'm assuming that's like a normal like six foot guy what's happening over in the Ukraine is the Ukrainian forces have a bunch of these yeah, assuming that's like a normal you know like six foot guy that's that gun's got to be like what? Damn near. It's it's definitely more than twice his length. That's that's got to be a damn near a 15 foot long gun. Things left over from the Soviets. And what they've done is they've retrofitted them. So instead of having the two handles and a butterfly trigger like the 50 cal and like the old version of this gun, they look like this. So if we zoom in, you can actually see the old wooden handle of the original gun, and then this is all the adapter kit, and the fucking trigger looks like a bicycle brake. <laughs> these enormous works, muscle brakes on them to try to control that recoil. So basically, they've taken an old Soviet-era heavy machine gun, and then MacGyvered it into a junkyard version of the American 50 Cal Barrett that's fully automatic. And it's better <laughs> to slap a whole box of ammunition on the side of it, because reloading is dumb. Really, though, this is another example of grunts doing Mad Max type shit in the field that ends up being more effective than the original weapon. Kind of like the gun trucks of Vietnam or the Marine Corps Frankengat from World War II. Frankengat. See, the big problem with the Dushka when you fired it from a swiveling tripod was when you fired the recoil, kicked the gun up off of your target. Well, when you make the overall gun like longer, that'd be so annoying. You'd have to like point it at the ground below where you want to shoot, so it like pulls up towards the enemy. Because like if you if you try to actually shoot at them, you know, you maybe one or two bullets go in that direction, but then it's you're fucking shooting the planes. And put it on a bipod, it eliminates that issue. Before I get torn apart in the comments section, this is not to be confused with the cord. This is the cord, it's supposedly the new and improved version of the Dushka. And they do look very similar. But really look at it for a second. That's a big gun. But it ain't that big. No. I mean, come on, this guy looks like he's about to go trophy hunting for fucking Decepticons. And if that's <laughs> not enough to convince you, that's the trigger on the cord. It's an actual gun trigger. Whereas this guy's two fingers and four knuckles deep on a fucking bicycle brake. In conclusion, there's nothing scarier than when grunts are allowed to let their creativity run wild. And when they do, it's important to remember it's never a war crime the first time merch and other links available at the fatelectrician.com quack bang out i get 100 percent see that thing being banned at like the next geneva convention or something that is that is wild man when that fire rate started going off i was not expecting that at all i like i literally thought they'd like somehow modified it into a sniper because it looks like a fucking long ass sniper rifle and then he starts shooting and it's full auto like it's just just going. That is, man, that thing honestly is cool as fuck. 
I kind of want to go shoot one, but I'm guessing you have to go to the... I don't, there's there's got to be some American somewhere that has one, man. They have everything. I'll go to like Texas or Vegas or something, and we'll fucking shoot one. That'd be awesome. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.